friends. It is the night of day eight and we are at camp and fed and we had a really great day. Um, we did an alternate out of Cascade Locks on the um, Eagle Creek Trail and it was beautiful. <clears throat> it's a little bit scary in some spots. <laughs> if you don't like heights you might not appreciate it but we saw so many waterfalls and you were just like hiking in a canyon and it was gorgeous. Um, we got up um, and got on trail by six this morning because it was supposed to be like 90 something gross today. Um, and there is quite a bit of elevation climbing outside of Cascade Locks. So we actually got pretty lucky and stayed in the shade a lot in that canyon. So not too bad. It did get really hot in the middle of the day though and we struggled a bit, but um, I know we struggled because we realized we didn't even stop to eat lunch until like 2 o'clock or something, which is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, but when you're super hot, you just don't really feel like eating. Um, and when we finally got to some shady spots and got a chance to cool down, we realized we were hungry. So we sat by a nice little creek and there was a cool breeze coming in and it was lovely. And we actually followed the Eagle Creek Trail all the way over to the PCT by Watum Lake. Sorry if I didn't say that right. Um, the alternate um, far out goes like straight up something called Indian Springs um, towards the end and people say it's like a 45 degree slope like just like straight up no switchbacks and it's quite long and we had no interest in that so we took a couple extra miles I think and walked around and got this spot right across from this beautiful lake so good day we will check in tomorrow i think we've got about 16 and a half or something like that miles i don't even know what we did today because of this side um trail that we took over here but i'm gonna guess anywhere between 16 and 17. um anyway doing good and we will check in tomorrow Hello friends, it is day nine and we have had a second day in a row of fantastic times. Uh, we slept great last night in our little spot back there by the lake and got out. I think, I don't even know what time we got on trail this morning, but it's really been a great day. Not as hot as yesterday and we had some amazing views like a mile into our day. We saw first Mount Hood, the closest as it's been to us. And then we came around a corner and saw what we believe to be Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, and Mount Adams all in the same spot. So beautiful, we were so excited. Um, we did about 16.2 miles today and we're literally walking to our pickup spot right now. Uh, so I might check back in later, but just wanted to give you a little insight. It's a good day.
water. Ugh. We just crossed this bad boy. Whoa. Day 11. I uh, got some videos yesterday, but didn't do a lot of talking. So we had a pretty technical kind of hiking day. Um, we had a water crossing, which I showed you. Um, we also ran into snow and had a lot of elevation gain and loss um, making our way up Mount Hood. But we did it. it was I think a little over 17 trail miles. However, we uh, definitely got a little turned around in some of the snow. So who knows how many real miles, but it was a good day. I would say it was harder to navigate the snow that we did in Washington in that it was a lot more widespread and you never really knew where the trail was. Um, up here on Mount Hood, it was more sporadic so we could see the trail a little easier. The harder thing was that there are several trails up there that people take so um, sometimes you would just be excited to see trail and get on it and then somehow your sixth sense would tell you that something might not be right so I would look at far out um, and realize I was off trail. Um, never more than point two which doesn't sound like a lot but still frustrating um, but we did it and we are out of the snow right now and I think we'll be for a while. Um, we're on the other side of the mountain and headed south. So uh, we are doing about 15 miles today. And then tomorrow we actually have a short day because we have to go around uh, the Lion's Head fire closure. Uh, so we are just gonna bust out some miles here and we will check in later.
Hello friends. It is day 13. So we missed a little bit of time. Uh, yesterday we slack packed a little over eight miles to the beginning of the lion's head fire closure. And today we have been busting our butts out here. Um, it has been very exposed in the sun all day. And we have done, I don't know, I think by the time we're done, probably like five miles in lava rock. Um, which in the beginning was kind of fun and cool and now is just rude and torturous <laughs> to our bodies. Um, all the rocks are really rolly and it's hard to keep your footing and we're still in the sun. Um, but we're almost done with it, we think. And we have maybe about two miles left. We're going to a campground that we found. Um, it's just a primitive one with nothing really, not even a host, but a spot. Hopefully we can put up our tent. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day, but a hard one. And I think that we will sleep good tonight. Yesterday we ran a ton of errands. We went to Bend and did some gear changing things. And um, Bend, Oregon was pretty crazy, but cool. There was, I don't know, we were at like an outside mall to go to REI. And there's like a little river that goes by. And there's all these people floating on tubes and there was like live music and supposedly the Goo Goo Dolls were going to be there. What? Uh, so anyway, we are just taking a little break here from our friend, the Lava Rock, before we get on more of the Lava Rock to hopefully get past the Lava Rock and then snow. <laughs> Hello friends, it is day 14 and we are home for the night. Look at that. Sometimes people ask us why we do this. And I'm gonna say this is one of the reasons because who gets to go to bed looking at this and wake up to it in the morning. It's not mosquito free, um, but I think it's still worth it. Uh, so yesterday um, I, I did my video and I'm pretty sure I was talking about how terrible the lava rock was. Um, and that we still had a few miles left. And I'm just gonna tell you right now that most of those miles were still in Lava Rock. We were ready to find camp, which we found the, I think it was the Lava Camp um, Lake at campground. And it's like, had little spots and was really primitive and there were no fees that we could see. There was a pit toilet and picnic tables in a fire pit, which of course was no use to us because we were too tired to have a fire, but it was perfect, really cleared out spots. Um, the little lake was small and beautiful and the water tastes great. Um, so not much more we could ask for there. Um, and then today we did about, I don't know, just over 16 miles maybe, and it was pretty hard. Uh, we were in the sun again all day and this time First of all, there was more lava rock, but it wasn't as bad as yesterday's, but still more lava rock. And then there was snow. Um, so in the snow, it's like ridiculous because I wear my hat and my sunglasses and 
my sun hoodie up and I'm covered as much as I can, but when you're walking on the snow, the sun is just reflecting off it right back into your face. Um, but we made it and um, I think we have about 14 miles to Elk Lake tomorrow where we are meeting mom and Kurt for the last time. So we have a zero day planned for the next day. So we'll get some rest. We are excited about that. Um, but yeah, dinner is cooking and I am just going to enjoy this beautiful view and try not to get carried away by mosquitoes. Mm -hmm.